here in Venice Beach, California, about to get a haircut with the Lonely Barber, which is a barber inside a van, which is about as Venice as you can get. I'm gonna be late, so I gotta go. Venice is like the ocean, man. Venice is like one of those cities that's constantly changing. Cool, no, all good, dude. Oh yeah. We, uh, we picking up the audio, it's, it's running? Yep. Okay, cool. Venice is a small beach town with a ton of heart and soul. The population of this small town, though, changes as quickly as the tide. We've actually moved to Venice Beach and have called this home for the last year and a half. But today, what we're doing is getting a haircut in a van. Oh, my hair's gross, dude. I've been waiting. No, it's, it's perfect. It's got enough like texture in it to like see what we got going on. It's good when it's got like a little bit of a little bit of oils inside of it because it holds it back, you know? Yeah. It's not just a poop ball. Whatever fits like, your head. I'm down head. to try like different styles and stuff. Cool. You've got a pretty good slate right now. Does this make me look good kind of yeah, deal? Make me look good. That's it. Perfect. At this point in time, as I sit on the throne in a barber shop on wheels, I'm very ready for the transformation to take place. Venice is always changing, dude. Two years ago, it was a totally different city than it is today. It's forever changing, you know, which is right. the probably coolest thing about Venice Beach is that it went from this hood, you know, this barrio by the beach. The only thing that was even remotely touristy was probably the boardwalk during that time. Certain streets were notorious, you know, for, for selling crack and, and having prostitution and so on and so forth. And, uh, and now it's kind of this like mecca of style and fashion, and fashion forward. I don't like to use the word hipster because I think it's a generalization of like right. different cultures, but like it is, it, it's a trendy place that likes to make people feel welcome. It's an energy, it's an energy, man. It's an energy, dude. It really is a vibe. Um, Malibu has the same thing, but I think it's more subdued, it's more spiritual. Here, people connect on a level because you're surrounded by art, you're surrounded by a variety of different cultures, you're right next to the beach, the climate's nice, but beyond all those other factors, I don't really know how to explain it any other way than to say there's an energy that's here that draws people to it. I do feel like Venice Beach is, is unique in this sort of in this sort of way you know it's it's got all those those markers for better or for worse right you know i think that keeps people coming back is totally different experience you know right as long as you don't get mugged yes. you know? <laughs> as i sat vulnerably in the chair enjoying conversations with ryan about life it made me realize that barbers have swag they're just cool people but then it makes sense when you think about it because they spend all day talking with lots of different people, hearing other people's stories. So much better. This is so much better, dude. And I, and I do think this look is gonna kill it for you, honestly. I think you're gonna see the final product and be like, dude, this is a sharp look that I can live with. And if you don't love it, you know, we can transition it. But I, I really do feel like you're gonna be like, wow, this is a great look on me. You've got a nice full beard, you know, which is like what you need to have that. And it can't be, it's got to be full here and it's right. got to be lighter here in the cheek section because that's what really shows that nice clean fade, you know? Right. Who's out there really thinking like, yo, I, I look like a Brad Pitt right now. Awesome, dude. Let's style this up. I think that, you know, that that's probably a pretty good placement for the beard. Nice and sharp, dude. Feels about right. Looks like this side has a little bit more volume naturally to it than this side. So I wanted to keep it in a place where they're both just kind of even and flowy no matter where you slept on it, you know? Yeah. Cool. Throw this one up right here. This stuff's called Bird Hair. They're out of Newport Beach. They make really incredible products. What I'm throwing in there is a base layer. It's a sea salt spray, and it's just gonna kind of add a little bit of volume, but what it's really gonna help me do is keep the hair from absorbing the product. And I can add and subtract uh, product as necessary. I can apply it to drier hair, and have it have a really dry, really natural appearance, or I can apply it to hair like yours with a little bit of moisture in it, like wavier hair, and I can have it have a little bit sleeker, kind of more dapper look to it. And then that calic piece, we're just gonna tuck him in the back right there, give this little guy a smurf, and that's it, man. Boom. Yeah. Sick. Thanks, Boom. Dude. Yeah, dude. Oh,
All right, just got a fresh cut right here in Venice Beach on Abbott Kenny. Looking freaking fresh. Yeah, we're gonna hang out a little bit, get some more shots of this sweet van that he built out and convert it into a barber shop on wheels, which is freaking sick. And very Venice. It feels very Venice.